David, how are you? Good. How are you, Jackie? Couldn't be better. Here we are at Nikolai Pitchin's studio today, and we have a lot of wonderful questions for you. Um, let's hear from the audience. So I have a question. Um, so I, I often hear you say, more light, more light. And when I add more light, it gets really white. And um, so I get really, I, I struggle, or I guess my question is like, how do you add more light? I know light and color are different things. Um, but yeah, like, is it something you're always thinking of at the same time? It's like adding more light, but also you know you're gonna have to up the color. Just managing those two different things. Well, when I initially mix skin color, I look at, I keep some of the pure color that I start with and some white, like a string, and mix them together till the color looks lit up to me, as I've been saying to you. When it no longer impresses you as being a color, let's say cadmium red, whatever the color might be, but it, it just looks like that color is lighted. So that's how I determined the first bit of skin color I put down, that it, it initially has to look lit up. But also knowing that to put a, the highlight will be a different temperature. It be you know something that's the the color of light coming in the room or the color of light falling on everything in on that particular person or still life light is a different color the light coming in the room will be a different color than the local color so in the portrait so you you have light light to dark light limbing the whole face, and in between that, the brightest light and the dullest light, you weave in your skin color. <clears throat> but, so changing temperature, wh wherever it is on the face, whether it's the forehead or the receding planes of the face, that <clears throat> that's the color of your, the light coming in the room. David, when you start a painting, or start painting a model, is there something in particular that you're looking for to springboard you into the painting? Well, yes, well, yes, uh, Leslie, when, when I'm setting up a pose, I mean, assuming it's a whole figure, I'm, I'm trying to d design how the light falls. Let's say I was somebody posing like this, so I would see the path of the light, like from starting here, washing down the face, going to the shoulder. Now, the obvious thing would be to make the near arm the lightest thing. But since you want the picture to have depth and mystery, let's say, so it would really be darkening this arm, either mentally or putting a cardboard or something in front and having the interior hand, Velasquez has that in one of his portraits of King Philip, so that you're going from outside to inside. Before you start, you have an idea, your concept for that particular painting and then how the background is going to relate. So let's say you had the brightest light on the forehead washing down the face. If you wanted that to be extremely important, the only thing that's seen, then the background's very flat, the shadows, nothing moves except the light, you see. Well, thank you. I'm sure. No, no. no. That's it, no that's more questions. It. I have so many more answers left. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead.